made it to Okeechobee. Came down a week early. Got a really nice spot here at Taylor Creek RV Resort. Super nice people. It's going to be perfect. It's been a very trying week so far. I need good things to happen. Good for you. Got the camper set up. It only takes uh, about 15 minutes to get it jacked up and get it popped up and ready to go. Just gotta try to get reorganized. Kinda was a wet, nasty mess in Eufaula, so not the greatest event. Kinda hurt my feelings. Seeing those guys catch them, you know, doing exactly what I was doing is kinda hard to swallow a bit. There's the water right out the door. It's gonna be a good week. I'm looking forward to it. I got a few days off. I'm gonna be doing some editing. Cold front coming, imagine that. Gotta empty the boat out. The boats are right out the window. Literally, I can reach out and touch it. It's right there. I've been in a lot of RVs over the years. We've had Hitchhikers, Arctic Fox, four different brands. And um, as far as quality, it just doesn't get any better than this. If these guys made 40 foot fifth wheels, they'd be the best one on the market. Well made, well thought out, very cool. It's amazing how much stuff that I got packed into such a small area. Nuts! Got a nice little spot here in the shade, but one thing I do not like, Cristantulas. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Giant Cristantula in my truck. I don't know if it's got wings. Really don't know what that was. I think it's hissing. Oh my gosh. I got goosebumps. It's hissing. Oh God, not good. I didn't get a good enough look at it to see what it was. All I know is we don't grow spiders that big where I live. Bad thing is I have to find it or I'll never drive my truck again. It's always what you least expect. But I gotta go find that thing, whatever it is. Small bat. It was right there and it fell i think behind the seat this is not good oh my god this is not good oh my god is that it is that it look at it oh man i hope that's it you gotta take off i don't want to smash you oh thank you god i thought i was gonna die go ahead climb up there go around go around there you go away from the door all right here we go safety first Thanks, buddy. All right, now my heart's beating. Obstacle one, out of the way. Stage two, Lake Okeechobee. Lots of work to do. Well, it's my day off, just got done rigging. It's three o'clock and I got invited to a fish fry here at the Taylor Creek RV Resort. So pretty excited, haven't had fish in a while. Going to eat some Okeechobee crappies. <laughs> Who caught all the fish? You did? <laughs> What's the secret? <laughs> Large minnow. The only bad thing, kind of breaking the organic thing. But we do have the ketchup. So I'm breaking the organic thing just for once. Do you blame me? Well, it is Friday. Practice doesn't start till next week, but I'm down here, but I'm going on the Kissimmee River above where we're launching just to get a feel for the same type of fish, the same water. Who knows, maybe get a feel, maybe it'll help me in the tournament. That's the plan. Yeah, quarter mile. Turn right onto Free Cove. All right, we're here, Kissimmee River. Beware alligators. grandma holy smokes that's a big alligator wow okeechobee got biggins don't you get me wet boy you're going too slow i have no idea what those are i think they're puffer fish but they're weird nothing big today but had a lot of fun 
Got a ton of fish. I needed that. My main goal today was to get all my new rod and reel situated, make sure I was comfortable with whatever I'm throwing on them. Productive day. There's a storm coming. I'm out of here. One more cast. So fun. Fishing the bonnets. The bonnets. Sure is fun fishing the bonnets. Oh, I need it today. So much fun. Flipping the bonnets. Flipping the bonnets. Probably caught 40 fish today. Florida's weird. They're so picky. I went down through here with a worm, didn't catch anything, and then turn around and come right back through here. Work it a lot slower because it looks so good. You catch like 10. Oh man. Every single pad patch has a fish in it. Or two. It's frozen where I live, so I got all my new rods and reels from 13 and I can't dry any of them. My first chance trying these new sticks, reels. Love them, love them. This is like the perfect setup, isn't it? We need to carry this thing around with us. Boat official for the day. How you doing? Well, isn't this a fine? How do you do? Beats the sun beating down. Well, yeah. I think. Fred, give me something that's inspiring. I need encouragement. Okay, so Florida. And Big Mama don't care, okay? Oh, Big really? Mama don't care. Big Bass, Big Mama don't care. Really? Yeah, she don't care. Not sure I believe that. <laughs> Everybody always asks me what's in here. How do you open these things? It's the stat unit. Stat unit? Yes. You got to carry that thing every day. How much does it weigh? Like 40 pounds. Does it really? <laughs> there it is. I used to question how that stayed on there. <laughs> Cool. It's got satellite, cell signal. And you got USBs and chargers. And... Cool. Are we all ready to run? Sure. 16, Jesse Wiggins.
You that this is going to be a good interview? Can I promise you? So you just took your own role. It's going to be 15th place, 8 pounds, 12 ounces for you, Dave Lefebvre. I got. Oh, you are? Are you? I'm left handed, so this is actually more natural for me. Probably felt a little unnatural out there with you today. Let's come back the way. Okay, we're going back the other way. All right. Is this how the wind pushed you around all day? It was. I was just spinning. And I'll tell you, I, I had a bad day. I got three. Luckily, I got one big one, but. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. Okay. Dude, thanks for the head scratch. That just played right into what he said. Yeah. I did. Oh. Make a bad day even worse. I lost a camera and she is gone. Not cool. Not cool at all. It's expensive. One. Two. It had all my catches on it. That big one, I caught it on that back camera. Yeah, that makes me sick. <sighs> Morning, bras ears. Here we are, day two, got some work to do. Definitely got some work to do. Probably need more than I caught yesterday. 8.13 I think, or somewhere almost nine, but gonna need more than that, because Florida came back. Things are gonna happen. Feels good. Weather's not too hot. Just feels good. Still get the jitter. Sometimes people like to put in, Hopefully not many. I'll see you later. Hopefully for the right reasons this time. Here we are, day two. We're with Mickey. I've been dreaming about getting you, man. Two years I've been waiting. Finally <laughs> happened. You want to say hi to your wife or anything? Hi, Teresa. <laughs> I'm almost hoping that they don't bite. I want another tough day just because, because. But if they do turn on today, I hope I'm in the thick of it. See, he's calling like three boats every five seconds. He's supposed to be calling one every five seconds. We're behind Adrian. Where is he? Was Christy in front of me? 19, what are you? to start here and hopefully get lucky and get one or two in the boat. Watercolor is pretty good. It's kind of got that tannic look to it, but it doesn't look like it's blown out and nasty, which I was afraid of. And I'd like to use that free run time right now. I got 20 minutes before line's in to, to run down there, but I'm just worried about starting there again and not catching anything. So changing it up on day two. Here we go. 20 minute break. Sounds like fun. Get the scales ready. I got them sitting right here. Hey. I did eat my banana this morning, though. Well, I, I understand you guys got your little banana. I yeah, Edwin thinks that Wheeler busted that banana theory out of the water like it's not true. But Wheeler's just that good where he can do it with a banana. We need this to happen quick. They need to stay buttoned, too. They're jumping like crazy, going nuts. I don't know why they got to be like that. I think they're a swamp. <laughs> I don't know if you want to 
catch one on the first cast or not. I'm on this <laughs> side. Three, two, one. Lines in, beginning in the first period. Nothing yet? Nothing yet. I think that alone is, a t is showing you that it's tough because everybody's set up on their best cast right now. Right now, they threw it the first shot. Okay, the first one just come on the board. Mike McClellan caught a three pound, two ounce. Is that because he prayed this morning? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> it works like that. Uh, uh. I should leave you off. Bad luck. You're bad. But I think I'm gonna catch one right here. So two, one, lines in, beginning a second period. Foot and a half. Two eleven. First fish. I had to shut the camera off because it's just too bad luck. The only bad thing is I couldn't get them out of the reeds that I was in. If I could have stayed back, I think there's a bunch of them here. I missed one on the cast before that that wasn't the same fish. 15 minutes left in the second. There's more around. That moved you up to 21st with one pound, six ounces out. Three, two, one. Lines out in the second period. Red Robinus is in seventh with 19 pounds, six ounces. Sean Grigsby is in six. Holy cow, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Look at the size of this thing. Look at that. Golly. God, that never happens to me. Nine pounds, zero ounces. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gotta get a picture to see. Go ahead. Look at that. Nine one's my biggest one in the tournament ever. That's nine even. I'm gonna hold him like this. Yeah. That's a little bit better. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. All right. Gosh, I hate to even let one like that go. Look at that thing. Got him. Thank you. Oh, man. Game changer. Hate to say that. Oh, Senko, Senko. Golly, I can't even hardly. I could have easily lost that fish. It wrapped me. I didn't turn the GoPro on and look at me, I'm shaking. Like I made an adjustment, decided to go down in line size because it's just so tough. You, did, you said it earlier. Score tracker update. Yeah, let's see what that did. Seventh place. <laughs> Six pounds, five ounces out of first. How much? Six pounds, five ounces. Wow. Her total weight now is 20 pounds, 7 ounces. She was so wrapped up. I thought, oh, this is going to get ugly. Got to go back to my lucky hat. This is my photo weigh-in hat, but I have to wear Superman. I didn't get more worried when you're trying to get the GoPro come. I thought, oh, gosh, just get him in first. I, know. <laughs> I don't care if I got to give you a penalty. Just get him in. <laughs> I haven't even seen a 9-pounder car. I know. I said game changer, and I meant it. <laughs> So you feel like joining them now? I'm a game-changing fool now. <laughs> now I see why they say that. <laughs> Man, why didn't I turn the dang camera on? I had a bite. Missed him. Well. Right now, 20th place. Thank you. 
they got off. Oh, nope. Yeah, I did not think that was gonna be a little one. Okay, I wanna show you my one-two punch type thing here at Okeechobee. It's really a one, a one-four punch. Those are Yamamoto Senkos. I've got one with a 16th ounce weight. These are all fishing on line tungsten weights. One with a 3 16th, one with a 5 16th, and one with a 3 quarter. And the other part is this, BX Brat. They are eating it big time at certain times of the day. So when I see those fish start to pop on the surface, I start throwing this around them. But I had seven bites total on this and caught three on day two. Fish tomorrow in the knockout round, and that's the VMC heavy duty offset shank just restocking making sure i got them enough of them this hook is as good as it gets bmc baby i've been using this particular three quarter ounce weight all of practice and at ufala still barely chipping at all they hold their paint really really well you name it they got it and you're not going to find a better price so fishing online those are the weights that i use They're the least expensive and the best quality it's a beautiful morning. One of the main advantages in fishing, especially in Florida, especially in a cold front, and especially when the wind's blowing, are the power poles. Without them, I wouldn't have caught that nine pounder. When I started thinking about the major league fishing tour and all in the situation as far as weighing fish, usually you're landing or swinging a fish into the center of the boat. Normally, I am right here. You know, I swing the fish in. I got the switch in the closest possible place. I got it backwards, so I got the down as close as to me. It's pretty much instinct. I'm sure you all seen Edwin has a foot switch here. On my front switches, I've got them on one touch. So you only have to hit it one time. Bam. They're exceptionally fast. Yesterday, I had a bite. It wasn't that big one. About a two pounder. Lost it and put the poles down, put a new Senko on, fired back out there and caught that big one. So without the poles, that wouldn't have happened. I'm also going into my sonar settings. I mean, as tough as it is, I don't know what helps and what doesn't, but I know that no vibrations coming out of my transducers can't hurt. I don't need the depth. I'm fishing in a foot of water, foot and a half. So I'm going into my sonar settings, more options, and I'm actually stopping the sonar. So I got no pingage, none. So I'm heading to the truth verification test. Randomly selected, of course. It's always a lot of fun. Intrigued by the whole process. Not sure if I totally believe in it or not. This guy's one of the best in the country, so. Just past the Sitco gas station back there. There's 80 Bass Pros in town. Miraculously, once we start showing up, the gas prices went up to 249 so it went up 12 cents overnight at both of the main gas stations sitco is still at 237 so it's not a national thing it's called price gouging in florida so maybe we should call the governor i know if pam bondi was still here she'd be uh helping us out with this one did you work for the government no and so there's two components that measure respiration uh, that component right there measures blood volume and pulse. It's called a plasmograph. Uh, a split component that measures electrical activity. What's one of my feet on? What am I doing with this? Uh, bring it right around your back. We're going to wrap this around your back uh, like a belt. And we're going to wrap this around your chest and go underneath your arm. All right, go ahead and have a seat. I feel like this is a B and I'm a C though. How do I look? Is it good? Beautiful. Well, yeah, you can loosen that okay. too. Yeah. It's the BC thing again. There we go. All right. So those measure respiration from your torso. Is there any numbness or pain in these two? Um, um, yeah, this one I almost cut off. You okay. can't go. Yeah, I see Not that. too long ago. Yeah, yeah. It's, this, one, this one sucks. Okay. Tendon problems. Tendon problems. All right. So I'm going to go with your pinky in this one. Yeah, look. Watch. See how it snaps? Yeah. How'd you do that? It's a long story. We're hooked up and ready. Here we go. And this black is the pad that you're seated on that's measuring shifts in your weight and your movement. And it's not so much a lie, but you recognize Pennsylvania is where your home is at. Wow. Your blood pressure goes up. There's a slight change in your yeah. breathing pattern. There's actually a, a what we could call a little bit of an apnea. You got apnea over here too. I'm not really sure why, but. Man, that's an intense deal. At six o'clock, I got here at 3.30. I got about an hour to uh, get in my boat try to get some stuff ready for tomorrow these off days are definitely not definitely not off days they got us running so anyway i think i passed it's an ordeal all right 
back to the boat. I got about a half hour left of daylight and I also have to get gas. I believe I am now at zero because I refuse to get gas at the gas gougers. Oh, I still got three miles. That's, that's a lot. We made it. Still had a whole mile. No problem. Well, got a little bit of time in the boat this morning. Got a couple minutes just now. I think I'm pretty much ready. I got the Lorances. I like to change my track colors. Mosquitoes starting to show up. I think I'm out of here. Don't want to get eaten alive. I'm ready. Knockout round starts tomorrow. There he is, Mr. Another fishing show, live and in person. He's literally, gosh, 20 feet away, probably. Much bigger fan of Pete Wagner, but amazing. Look, now he's only probably nine feet away. Are you gonna weigh more fish than you've ever weighed in your life today? I'm hoping so. No, you're not. <laughs> you say that to all the girls. He had a nine pound bass. In competition for 13 fishing, Dave LaFibra and former Major League Fishing World Champion, Academy Max, Greg Hackney. Paired up with the legend today. I know what happened. That's all. Good luck, man. but not bad. So we're 15 seconds from lines in. First fish in the first period of the week. Two pounds, nine ounces. Two nine. Okay. Way ahead of where I normally Two nine. Put you in eighth place. I just caught a four nine. My camera died. Literally two casts before that bite. Three, two, one. Lines in, start period two. Oh. oh my gosh, I missed him. Please give me another chance, you big dog. Same spot. Just had a big one roll right there. Two pounds, ten ounces. That'll work. Nice. Chop. Two ten. Okay, now I need three. Three more in this period. So that puts you in sixth place. Nice. Nine pounds, eleven ounces. I need 
needs like a top 10 to make the first cup. So close, but yet so far away. There's just no not to do by it. It's also pretty weird not to get a random bite. It's almost like every place I've had a bite, I was ready to get a bite. There should be a random one. something you know what I mean yeah see that boil mm -hmm. he ate both my legs I feel like we're dangerous now <laughs> just caught a five pound 12 ounce so that drops you yeah nine pounds seven ounces now can't get it done can't get it done i really blew an opportunity right there but there's nothing i can do about it it's not like i did anything wrong 90 minutes left in the period i really got a good feel i got a loaded area all to myself there's a big one he got off. Oh. Oh, man, that, was a good one. that was every bit of four, maybe yeah. bigger. Oh. Why? It's huge. Why? When you get them pegged with one of these, it's rare that they come off. Yeah. That was a big one, man. Definitely had the bites to get it done. It's not over, but I'm just saying. If I can catch enough to make it now with all the misses that I've had. I don't know why that crap. You, you wouldn't believe how often that happens. Whoa. Yeah, buddy. I think he's going to make it. Yeah, he's making it. Two pounds, one ounce. <laughs> Two, one. Catch the little one. That's the big one. Seven pounds, six ounces out now. Boy, I'll tell you what, that one I just lost. See, Ot the Foe and James Elam are two ounces different than each other, and they're both on either side of the cut, and they're playing leapfrog. Just another one. I mean, I think, I don't know if that was a huge one, but I think it was a big one. A good one. You have 15 pounds, six ounces. Oh, gosh, I need like 11 more pounds. Oh, my God. I just missed a five pounds. Came clean out of the water. Another big one. Should have got him. Golly. It's just hard to think about the fish that have my jig in their mouth. Man, I can't handle this. Come on, buddy. Come on, stay on there. Yeah, I think he's gonna make it. Yep. Catching the little ones and losing the big ones. But, keeper. Two pounds, three ounces. Two, three. Yeah. Ate my tails off again. Not a little one either. Give me that two pounder, please. Gosh, he's close. I need that 
too even for once in my life. 2.0. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I knew that was as close as it gets. Still gonna be six pounds out. That sucker was tiny compared to the ones I'm losing. Hey, okay, that's brought you up to 10th place. Nice. You need four pounds, nine ounces. Okay, kinda scary now. A lot of good water in front of me. A lot of better water behind me, but we are not turning around. Oh, thank God I didn't get hooked, man. That, I, I don't know how I missed it. That didn't hit me in the face. Stephen Browning just popped two pounds zero out. Moved you down to 11. Still at four pounds, nine ounces. You got 10 minutes left. Oh, yeah. I think that's another two. Gosh, it's close. Please, 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 please. Close as the last one. Yeah, it's one, yeah, it's one fourteen on scoreboard. Oh my god, giant. Please, 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 please. Every, I'm going to be so close to that second that first cup. You are in 11th right now. God, I hope that stays there. I felt like I needed a top 10, but 11th, I mean, it don't get any closer to 10th than that. I'm drained. Thirsty. Lost them. That's a bad feeling. It happens a lot to me. Yeah. Sucks when you miss so many. I missed 11 or 12 fish today. Four of them were four pound plusers. And won three minutes ago. You said finish, but... Man, boy, it sucks to drive home knowing I could come back in here and have a blast tomorrow, you know? Yeah. Nobody fishing here. I caught the nine yesterday right there. Wouldn't have changed a thing, so it is what it is. Just want to win one of these. It's my 18th year. Yeah. And I win one every three years. That's the ratio. Yeah. And I didn't win one. I, it's been four years now. I didn't win uh -oh. one. Uh-oh. So, it kind of sucks. Yep, still love place. Boy, it's gonna be close. I'm gonna have to do some serious math. Are you good at math? I'm pretty good at math, yeah. So if I finish 49th and 11th, what's my average finish? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, 69th and 11th, that's 78. So that's 40. No, it can't be 40. 49th and 11th, so that's 50, 60. So 30. Technically, that should be enough. Thank you. You bet. Had a great day, man. Thank you. Really frustrated. I. I didn't give myself quite enough time. I got about a hundred yards left. Good stuff. One bite. It is what it is. Fished as hard as I could, man. I don't know, it just didn't happen. It makes no sense. <laughs> It's gonna be close. I'm gonna have to do some math. A lot going on. You got the heavy hitters thing. Every two Bass Pro Tours, you know, we're trying to qualify for Major League Fishing Cups, and we automatically make another six grand when you do that. So a lot on the line. I'm just hoping I squeaked out. Stayed in 11th. I'm not real sure yet, but I, I think I'm gonna need about two or three more points to get into that Major League Fishing. But fished as hard as I could. No regrets. Wouldn't have changed a thing. Just got unlucky on a couple of those big giant ones. Headed to Lake Fork. GoPro stop recording.